Continuing coverage of Ball State Hall of Fame weekend here from the Alumni Center and on All Access and BallStateSports.com. We travel to men's volleyball and Eduardo Faraz, uh, one of the best setters in program history. Uh, congratulations on the honor. Uh, welcome you. back to town. What's this experience been like for oh, you? It's, it's, it's a pleasure to be back in a place where I call home, have opportunity to see the coaches, the host families, friends faculty and, and be back on campus is just incredible. Yeah, I pulled you away from Don Shondell to do this. <laughs> uh, what's it like to see coach again? Oh, it's, it's, he's still coaching. He's 87. He's a legend. So it's, it's just to have the experience to play for him, to be re recruited by him is just unbelievable. Uh, he brought you here from Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, explain to me, let's go back in time a little bit. What was it like back then? Uh, how prevalent was it for international people to come to America and to, to pursue college athletics and and what was it like for you as a teenager to say I'm gonna make this journey to another country yeah, yeah I was an exchange student at Burris at first and I uh, didn't have boys volleyball there but I, I, I kept practicing with Steve Shondell and, and he had the opportunity to to talk to coach and Joe and say hey there's someone that might be interested to the program and I talked to my family a lot about it, and I love the way that America does with sports and education together, and that works perfectly for me, and I'm, I'm glad I made the decision to come. What was playing ball, uh, volleyball at Ball State like? Uh, how much did it impact you? And, and I guess the perspective now, years later, how much did it impact yeah. you now that you can take a step back? That's, that's why we're just talking with Todd <laughs> and, and John, and how wonderful it was to come in as a freshman and handle a situation that, that we needed to win and have pl uh, in incredible players you know, putting a lot of uh, confidence on me, expecting results, and, and I'm glad we had a, a wonderful career, four years, winning years, and it's just great to see them here you know, and, and have a chance to, to be back. Three Final Fours, uh, what do you remember on the court? What memories stick out? Uh, great memories, you know, a, a lot of work uh, in practice, uh, a lot of focus for results, especially at team results, and, and I'm here for team results. Uh, if, if we didn't have strong teams like we did, I certainly would be here. I certainly would make the All-America teams, and, 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 and it was, we just had great guys and uh, international players, too. We had players from Germany, Russia, Puerto Rico, Canada, Brazil. So it was just an incredible team. Which I'm sure made it a little bit easier, too, no? Oh, yeah. Uh, so many talent players. And, and come in and have a have chance to, to share some of my experience in Brazil with them and gain a lot of experience too here with them. It was just incredible. We just saw your daughter in the back of the shot, by the way, she ran behind your shoulder. So <laughs> uh, what's it like bringing your family back now oh, and you can show them uh, this place? Uh, to have them uh, uh, mixed up with friends, host family, it's, it's uh, very emotional and, and very special for me. Uh, congratulations. Enjoy the night. Thank uh, you. A lot of hard work went into this, so certainly a, a hearty congratulations. Okay, thank you.